Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and the topic for today's video is clean up old EBS volume. So before I start jumping into the topic, uh, let's try to understand why we need to do the cleanup part. And the answer is simple because you want to save some cost. Okay. So there may be a N number of reason why your EBS volume does not get cleaned up. Okay. So let's go to the AWS console and try to understand that one by one. So if I go to my AWS console and go to EC2, right? And go to this volume. You see that this volume is in available state. That means this volume is not attached to any of my instance and that will incur some cost to me. Okay. So the main idea behind the script, which we are going to write it now is that to clean up these kind of a volumes. Okay. The other reason may be, and the reason this volume may be lingering around here is that maybe I created this volume for testing purpose and I forget to clean it up. Okay. The other reason may be if you try to launch an instance like this. Okay. Configure instance detail next edit storage. So here you see that by default, the rule is set to delete on termination, which means as soon as you delete this EC2 instance, this root volume will be, uh, will be wiped out, but you might uncheck this box because you want to save that root volume or you created a new EBS volume, which is attached to this instance. And you see in that case, this is not uh, in by default. Okay. This is not checked by default. So if you delete or terminate, uh, this instance, this volume will be lying around and that will incur cost to you. Okay. And I'm not saying blindly delete this volume. First check if this volume is in use. And in my future videos, I'm going to show you how to create a snapshot of these volume. So it's always a good idea to take a snapshot of these volume and then only delete it because you might need that volume in future. Okay. So coming back to our main topic, you see that in our volume section, we have this one volume, right? Which ends with this 5D F6, which is an available state. Okay. So what our script is going to do is going to clean up this volume. Okay. And in future video, I'm going to show you uh, how to create a Lambda function and that Lambda function will run on a periodic basis and see if there's any available volume in your account. And if it's there, it is going to clean that up. Okay. So let's go to my pie charm and as usual, I'm going to import Boto3. Okay. And once again, my main idea is to show you guys how to build a concept to create these kind of a script. So if in your organization, if you have given a task that you need to clean up EBS volume on a regular basis, or you need to clean up all the unavailable, uh, all the available EBS volume, how you're going to approach. Okay. The second thing is I'm going to create boto3.resource and EC2. And once again, if you do not understand why I'm doing this, like creating this resource, please watch my earlier video where I have uh, specify in which condition you can use resource versus in which condition you can use the client. Okay. Now let me print this EC2 itself. Python three clean up old EBS water pure. So it's a service resource. Okay. So now a much better approach is to go to their official Boto3 documentation. Boto3 documentation. Uh, in under available services go to EC2. If you scroll down, you see EC2. And if you further scroll down under EC2, you have a section called volume. So click on the volume section. 
okay and this page is a little bit slow to load so just be patient okay still loading yeah so in my previous video i already spoke about like what is the use of all these parameters okay so if you scroll down not volume or i think it's not here or volume or let's go back to ec2 itself go to service resource okay i'm sorry i, I think i was in the wrong place it's not under volumes or volume and if you scroll down uh, you see that there is a three section one where you can create some resource there you can create like for example if you need to create a single instance and in the bottom you see something called collections if you want to work on the multiple resources okay so let's click on this volumes Okay, it's still loading. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see, we have this iterable all. So let's try to use this. Okay, issue dot volumes dot all. So let me do this. This time, let me use. Uh, print ec2 dot volumes dot all okay let's try let me print this and you see it's a collection so what i can do for let me take any variable for wall in because it's a collection and then print the volume okay just to be clear i know what exactly the code is but i am just trying to show you guys how to approach to this problem how to build your concept step by step so now if you execute this code you see you get all this volume id right and out of this i just need the id right and because i am using a resource so i can use a dot operation and now we got all the volume id now the challenge with this approach is that i don't need all these volume id i don't want to clean up all these volume id my requirement is i only want to clean up the volume id which is in the available state okay so if you remember my previous video i showed your concept of something called filter and using filter we can only filter the resource which is required so in this case i only want to get the volume which is an available state right so what i can do i can use this filter so rather than using all i can use filter okay then i can define filters f i l t e r s filters and then it's a dictionary and inside the dictionary this is quoted around with a list okay so let me do this list okay now i am going to give this filter a name called volume underscore status you can give it any name and like i said if you look if you watched my previous video i have mentioned how to write filters so filter will always be in the format of name right that is going to accept some value and then we have this values which is a list okay so if you see here we have this name which is in the form of a string and then value which is a form of a list so what exactly will be the name so if you scroll down here you will see something called status and status should be can be creating available in use deleting deleted or error so in our case we need status which is in the available state so i can do status and the value is going to be available 
a v a i l a v a okay now let's try to rerun my code okay and make sure that whatever the filter you have defined put it over here so now you got this 5d46 right and we can confirm that this is the volume which we are looking for okay now we got this the next step is let's create a new variable called wall underscore id which is going to store this volume id okay we can print it out we already know that what is the volume id we got okay now go back to the boto3 documentation and look for something called volume and i will tell you why we are looking for this so now we need to look for this volume okay let this page loaded okay so while this page is loading actually it is loaded here so here we can specify the volume id okay so let me copy paste this code and then i will tell you why i am doing this and rather than using a id we need to use our variables which we have defined above wall underscore id okay now let me do the dir of this volume and then you will know why i use this so if you look at the dir which is going to give you all the methods and attributes supported by this object you will see somewhere we have this operation called delete okay so this uh, volume support this method called delete okay so what we can do just for our own readability we can write clean up eps volume okay and we can specify this parameter called this variable called volume id and then we can use volume dot delete got it and how we came to know about this is why delete uh, regarding this volume and how i came to know about these parameter ec2 volume uh, you need to do a research of your own end or by doing some practice you will came to know about all these like how uh, how these things work the other approach is just go through the this boto3 documentation and just go through all these options i know there are plenty of them just once and see wo which one suit according to your requirement or your use case okay so now we have this code in place let's execute this script and you'll see clean up ebs volume this d6 and if you go back to the aws console let me refresh it and you see that volume is now gone okay so this is just a small script to uh, clean up all the ebs volume i know it's not a perfect script the other enhancement i can do that currently i am only cleaning up the volume in one region but i can enhance the script to clean up the volume in different region so i am not going to show you here but i will uh, add the code into my github repository and share the link with you guys the other thing which i have told you earlier uh, the better approach is to run this script via lambda on the regular basis and then clean up those volumes okay so once again thanks for watching this video uh, if you have any question please post in the comment section i will try to reply it uh, at as best of my ability so thank you